I'm Matt and I'm here with Mike from RAM and today we're going to talk about our new RAM concept dual disc clutch systems. That's right Matt and uh, the beginning of that really was the concept 10.5 unit that we introduced a couple of years ago. Um, this unit um, has a lot of features that make it quite a bit better than some of the smaller units that are out there. Um, number one, as I mentioned, is size. Um, being a 10.5 inch diameter and 10.5 inch discs, you've got more surface area for the clutch. It's better able to dissipate the heat over time. It's going to stand up a whole lot better. And the clamp load's a lot higher at about 2,400 pounds. Um, the clutch discs in this particular unit, uh, we're using a solid hub bottom disc and a sprung hub top disc. Using that sprung hub on the top, is going to allow a little bit of more absorption of the shock and initially as the clutch is engaging on takeoff you can't really get that with two solid hub discs. Um, another interesting feature there is what we call our nesting hub design where we've actually come back and we've back cut a little bit on the clutch disc top hub to allow for a taller hub on this bottom that's going to give us more spline engagement area on the input shaft that's going to better dissipate the load and spread the load out as, as you're engaging or if you're under a hard acceleration situation. Um, still using a strap driven floater plate so it's going to be nice and quiet. Um, not going to have a problem with, with noise or anything like that. And it's going to mount on most any flat flywheel, um, whether it be a RAM flywheel or a factory unit. Now something that we need to point out is because of the design with the sprung hub top disc is that the Concept 10.5 is going to be a little bit taller than maybe some of the other brands out there uh, in, the, in the marketplace. So when we talk about a little bit taller, what we are referencing is the dimension from the back of the flywheel where it mounts to the crankshaft to the diaphragm itself. So it might be a little bit taller and might be a little bit of a concern from fitment. So in some applications where you may have a shorter bell housing or some internal ribbing, uh, we need to be mindful of that. And actually that is some of the things that made the 9.5 come into existence. Uh, we initially designed it for our C4 and LT1 push conversions where uh, fitment was uh, premium and height was critical. And now we're going to offer that 9.5 for a lot of other applications as well. Uh, where you might have some issues with, like you mentioned, the ribbing on bell housing or, or fitment on the overall height of the bell housing itself. Um, features of the 9.5, pretty much the same as you're going to get here. Still going to have a sprung hub top disc, solid hub bottom, strap driven floater plate. Um, of course, it's a 9.5 diameter now, so not quite as big in size, uh, but this plate does have a very nice 2,000 pound clamp load. So the question might ultimately come up, should I use the 9.5 or the 10.5? And in, in most cases, we're going to say the 10.5 because of the higher clamp load pressure plate and the larger surface area of the entire unit. Uh, if it fits, you're probably going to want to use it. Now there are some situations where the 9.5 can be beneficial. One of those would be cars that see a lot of track day or autocross use. Uh, because this is a lower weight unit overall and smaller in diameter, it is going to let the motor rev up and down a little bit quicker, so you're going to be a little harder in and out of the turn, so it could definitely be a little benefit there. Um, limited street use, probably okay. Uh, being lighter weight, it's not going to drive quite as nice as the larger 10 and a half inch unit. Uh, but you know, if you build a drag car or a dual purpose car, if it's a heavy street use car and you can fit the 10 and a half, that's still always going to be a better choice as well. And as always, if you're unsure or have, need any questions answered, feel free to reach out to us at RamTech at RamClutches.com or check us out online at RamClutches.com.